research focuses on trying to understand how certain processes which control sort of cell growth, movement, and division work in sort of a nitty-gritty fundamental way. Um, specifically, I look at the interactions of a family of membrane proteins and how they interact with each other and other proteins. And this is really interesting because these, um, these processes are really important for normal cell growth and division, but they malfunction in a lot of diseases, including lots of cancers. In proteins called receptor tyrosine kinases, they sort of exist within the membrane of the cell. And what's really important is for them to have their activity, they have to interact with each other. So like two of these proteins will come together and get really, really close, and this will allow them to trigger sort of lots of downstream effects. So under certain, so under certain conditions, they're inactive, they're just by themselves, conditions change, they come together, and this will cause your cells to start moving or dividing or doing other things. So again, when you're sort of growing, this is really important, it's how that works, but also cancer cells grow like crazy and out of control, so these processes tend to be overactive. It's important, I think, to understand how biology works and what our cells are doing, because we sort of never know what, where this information is going to lead and what we can use, whether it's to sort of whether it's in human health or disease, or if it's like, hey, the cell's really good at this, how can we borrow this for any other processes, whether it be energy or other technology, you never think would, could be related, but sometimes it's just sort of inspired by biology. And also, these things we study are involved in lots and lots of diseases. And it's a lot easier to fix a problem when you know how it's supposed to be working, when, and instead when you're just like, oh, this is broken, we're confused. So like, in a lot of cancers, we can say, okay, this protein malfunctions. But if we don't know how that protein works in the first place, it's really hard to fix it.